Well, when I set out on this series, I had no idea that I was going to make three videos on upgrading this bandsaw. But as time's gone on, I've realized that that's been necessary as there have been a number of issues to sort out. Finally, having got the tracking sorted out in the previous video, part two, it's time to return to the table for use in the vertical mode like this. In the previous video, I finally decided to ditch the rather cheap, flimsy sheet metal table for use in this mode for something more substantial. So I've got this piece of 5mm plate. It's 250mm by 200 or 10 by 8 and it's going to go in this orientation. It's a little smaller than the original but still plenty big enough. Now one of the other issues with this was that it wasn't square as it located on the in the holes here with the countersunk uh, screws it just wasn't square with the frame. Yeah I didn't find that very satisfactory. So what I'd like to do is to uh, first of all clean up the edges. This has been cropped uh, so it's got some burrs that have been thrown up there around the corners and just get ready for uh, mounting this on here. Well I'm marking out the holes and I decided to actually shift the table slightly so that we have a little more towards the front so the work's coming in this direction. Uh, so that means I want to uh, shift the hole slightly rearwards like that. I just figure that I'd like to have more on the front in front of the blade than behind. So yeah just shifting that slightly and um, We'll use the same position from here. I've checked that, so that's correct. So what we'll do is we'll position this hole and then mark this one out as well. So I've measured the spacing of the two holes from the block and I'm going to add that in now. So the way that I check that the blade is, access, is square with the axis of the machine is by putting a straight edge up against the blade with a bit of packing to clear the set on the blade and clamp that in position. And then I can check that the blade is tracking correctly and I, I just say that's slightly out so I'm going to slacken this off and allow that to come back slightly yep that looks good to me we can easily check that the two rollers are running parallel by just lifting it up and checking that uh, it doesn't rotate as it goes towards the other rollers. It does slightly but not very much. I think we'll leave that for now. The important one at the moment is that this block is square. And the screws in here. Okay so that's actually reassuring. So the centers of those two screws are perpendicular to the axis so it means that we can we can drill the two holes um, 
quite easily in that plate. I thought I was going to have to make some adjustment, but that's not necessary. So it looks like the spacing on these two holes is 1.747. So it looked like that was originally an imperial dimension, one and three quarter inches. So 1.747 times 25.4 is 44.37 because I have a metric machine. So we'll dial that across. So the blade passes through an 8mm slot and I'm starting by centre drilling both ends, drilling and then opening out with an 8mm ML and then finally removing the material from between. I have the opportunity to use my recently made slitting saw arbor. The run out that you see there is not due to the arbor, it's due to the poor quality of the slitting saw. I guess the central bore isn't concentric. Anyway, it worked. So after deburring, tidying up, here's the table. I think that the 8mm slot here was plenty big enough for the blade. The original was a lot wider and a bit longer. I don't think that was necessary. The only change I would make if I were doing this again 
would be to increase slightly the width of the slot. This was made with a 50 thou slitting saw, which is the widest I had at the time. I probably would have gone up 10 thou or so just to make sure there's plenty of clearance over the blade. It's a relatively new blade and it fits over okay, but perhaps with a bit more set it would be difficult. So this is the frame we made last video. It's already leveled uh, both this way and that way and you can see this adds stability to the setup. So with this arrangement hopefully you can avoid the danger of upsetting the tracking on this lower block. So what I want to do now is screw through into the frame and uh, so I'm going to mark that out What I've got to do is spot through onto this uh, angle line and we'll put a 5mm countersunk screw at each end. Okay, I've made a mistake. I forgot that the angle iron doesn't come right to the edge, so I'm going to have to re-drill that hole further in here. Here we go again. These tapping size holes have served their purpose as a template for the other component. So I can now open them out to clearance size and then add the countersink feature. Well, at last we can put this together. So I've released the countersunk screws that hold these two parts together, but you can see there's quite a lot of, I mean the bolts are loose, but still you can see there's quite a lot of clearance in there. And I like to eliminate that so that when everything is tightened up, uh, it goes back in exactly the same position. So the way to deal with that is to put a couple of dowel pins in there.
Okay, I'm carefully tightening up the fastenings progressively just to make sure that everything is nicely bedded in. I've also just slackened the parallel parallelogram off slightly. Um, something had moved, but this will now be the final position. I hope. I'm going to ream these holes uh, 3 sixteenths of an inch. So the number drill I've used here is just um, a couple of sizes down from that. So we've got enough um, left to ream out the holes in situ. Well, after painting, here is the table in its completed form. The good news is that it doesn't need to be broken apart into two components to assemble and disassemble it. It can go on as a unit. And this is where I wish I'd made the slot slightly wider. There's a bit of paint in the in the slot as well which doesn't help and the two dowel pins enable me to line it up Well, these three videos on the bandsaw have brought this project to completion. This will be a useful addition to the workshop, I can see. I do hope there have been a few hints here for you if you've been struggling with this kind of bandsaw. I hope you join me for a new topic to come out in two weeks' time. Thank you.